Hey YouTube, this is Kerry with PacketBomb.com and I'm talking just to you, the YouTube subscribers, whether or not you're on my email list or go to my website or anything. I wanted to let you guys and girls know that I have released the very first PacketBomb.com course. This is a course that I am calling the Fundamentals course. So this is a course that covers all the things that I don't really talk about in my tutorial videos when I jump straight to the analysis. So this is figuring out what the problem actually is, narrowing down the issue, taking, uh, capturing the data, how to do that, and all the things you got to know about, and setting up Wireshark, all the stuff that I sort of skip over. That's what this course focuses on. So I'm going to have some videos and the first one here we're going to talk about is narrowing down the problem. So if you remember the far side, this is a hilarious picture. If you want to look at an elephant, you don't use a microscope. So the, the analogy here is Wireshark is a microscope and your network data is an elephant or a mammoth. You're not going to use that tool for that data set. So you have to narrow down the problem. And that is what the first video I'm going to show you from the Packet Bomb Fundamentals course talks about. I have, there are two other videos, so be keeping an eye out for those as I release them on my channel. Thanks a lot, you guys. Click the link if you want to read more about the course. All right, so before you ever fire up Wireshark to do any analysis, there's some things you got to do. The most important, and you need to spend as much time here as possible as you need, is to define the problem, to narrow the problem. Once you've done that, you can capture the data. You want to get it in the right spot in the network. And then you can verify the data once you have captured it. Just a quick glance, do a few things to make sure you got what you needed before moving on. So the first thing we need to talk about is defining the problem. You probably had someone come by, maybe knock on your door if you're so lucky, or put in a ticket, like, and basically just asked, is the network down? And you've probably given them this look. So the problem statement is your starting place. Maybe it's a decent one, maybe it's terrible, but it's your job to push from generic to specific. You have got to push in that, in that direction, asking a bunch of questions to drill down to the issue. And you also want to be able to validate the problem. Make sure the problem they're stating is actually what's happening. If they say there's an, an error or, or some type of problem that it's not something else and they're just giving the wrong description. So do all this now so that later when you have the data, it's way easier. So in narrowing down the problem, you've got to find out is it one application? Is it multiple application? Is it any application? Is it, you know, to one server, multiple servers? What, what, what does the problem look like? Is it just slow? Yesterday this thing was taking 10 seconds and now it's taking 45. Is it broken? It just doesn't work anymore? Things don't load properly? Is there an error message? Does it spin and spin and spin and time out? How exactly is it broken? When did this start? Were there some patches installed overnight last week on Tuesday? Um, was there a change window over the weekend? When did it start? When did you first notice it? And then from there, you can try to correlate with other things that you know about. Does it happen every time? Like every time they come in the morning when they happen? Every time after lunch when they come back from the bathroom? Certain times of the day, does it happen consistently? Or is it intermittent? It can be any time during the day there's no real pattern to it, but you need to try to get an idea of, of the timing of the issue. Does it affect one person? Is it multiple people? Is it Bob, Harry, Dick, and Jane, and Sam? Or is it, is it everyone on the floor? Try to understand the range scope of the people that this issue is affecting. And then what are the exact steps to re recreate the issue? Does it happen every time they open a file it used to take two seconds, now it takes 10 seconds. Is it when they save a file? Is it when they click here, click there, run this query that the issue happens? Is it random? They could be using an application and at any random time while they're using the application, they could see the problem. 
So before you get the data, and this is so important, I'm basically going to restate what I just said. Before you get the data, you need to know the exact nature of the problem. You should understand the problem, know the problem better than they do. You need to know who it affects, when it started, when it affects them, how it affects them, and you want to know across what versions of operating systems and applications the issue exists. Maybe they see the problem in Windows 7, but Windows 10 clients don't. Maybe someone sees the issue on Chrome, but the person on IE doesn't. Now, you need to do all this and spend the time doing it now. Put the work in up front so that your life is much easier when you're doing the analysis because then you'll know exactly what you're looking for. It's not a needle in the haystack issue, hopefully. So if you do all this, your next step is capturing the data. 